the, the just war theory basically, well, it, it, without going into a whole lot of history, it, it, it comes from Aristotle and then was put together roughly in its present form by St. Augustine. Now we can't challenge Augustine with the present theory of the just war. But it was the, why it arose was because in the very early church, Christians were forbidden to serve in the military in the very f first hundred years or so. That were murder, soldiers, that was killing, you couldn't do that. Uh, likewise, you couldn't, a Christian couldn't be a magistrate because magistrates are responsible for capital punishment and torture and you couldn't do that. But that lasted only to around about 150. And then you can see how the problem emerged. There's, in the first ages, Christians, there was no conscription. So they didn't have to face that problem. They didn't, weren't conscripted to the army. Later on, they were. So you had that sort of problem. And then very broadly, the more the church became positively related to the Roman state, the more it could not possibly avoid questions like the just war. Now, the, and then later on there developed a quite secularised version of the just war theory. And that's what is, there's quite a very large literature on just war in secular philosophical terms now, quite apart from the Catholic and Christian just war theory. Now, it's debated now as to whether the church should move away from the just war theory. Now, a very, what I, I, I taught this for years and years. I'm, I'm still not quite sure what the answer is. But recently there was a big congress in Rome precisely pushing this, we should abandon the just war theory. And uh, someone asked Pope Francis, and he said, well, we've got to stop ISIS. So how the difficulty is how could you respond to that? It, it seems the only way to stop ISIS was by massive force. And I'm not, I don't know how to respond to that further. But at the moment, the accepted view within the Catholic doctrinal tradition is to accept a version of the just war theory. There are basically four points the way they come out. First of all, you have to have a just cause. Now, what would be a just cause? Well, I'll take the more advanced form of the just war theory. At present in international law and Catholic teaching, the only just cause is defence against aggression. It used to be much broader, but when they realised just how devastating war was, they narrowed it down. Then you had to have the right intention. Now, if your intention is simply to expand your own national boundaries, that would not be acceptable. <coughs> now, for, just to give a rough example, it seems that in the case of the First World War, one significant factor was um, that Serbia, sorry, Austria wanted to control Serbia. Serbia at that stage was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and Austria was going to compel Serbia to submit. And then Austria got the support of Germany, and that the whole thing blew up and disintegrated. Uh, proportionality, in other words, the, the obvious one. Um, proportionality comes into it on two levels. First of all, if you're facing a question of whether we go to war or not, you have to ask yourself, given that all war produces enormous devastation, is what we hope to gain proportional to what's going to happen. Now, if the nations, just to keep it in the First World War, 
if they had foreseen what did happen, there would be no question that we would have been had to just to have been totally disproportionate. So the other one, and then last resort, you have to try every other me every other means of avoiding every other means of resolving a difficulty before you have recourse to war. They're the, the essential points. And the other very important one, there are more than four, there are basic four in the traditional theory of Thomas Aquinas, then the other one would be non-combatant immunity. Now this wasn't in the original theory, strangely, uh, but in the standard formulation a belligerent power may not directly attack non-combatants that's usually equated with civilians because the, the rationale is that war is justifiable as repelling aggression so you can't use war weapons against people who are not engaged in aggression now that, that's a major point. Of course, it's, it's violated all the time, as we can see now in Syria. Uh, 